Hi, this is John Morgan with the latest video tip for 2020 design. I am going to share how to change your view position while you're in your floor plan. If you look on the right hand side of your screen, there's a button here. It looks like a camera. It's called show hide camera. If I left click on it, the camera appears. If I hold my left hand button down on my mouse right on top of the camera, I can move the camera anywhere I want in the room. I can place the camera here. If I hold my finger down or the button down right on the circle, I can then rotate the camera. If I were to right click on the camera, there's lots of options. One option is called camera height. Right now you'll notice that I'm working in metric, but typically what I'm working in my plans, I'm using imperial dimensions and I might go in here and type in 65 for the average 65 inch eye level of a client. Or if I have a tall client or maybe a, uh, we're working on an ADA kitchen and I want to show someone in a wheelchair, I can adjust this up and down. I can also right click on the camera and I can customize it by changing the view opening. If I right click on the camera one more time, there's an option here for tilting and there's also an option for clipping. Now, there's a difference between camera clipping and object clipping. Camera clipping means that I can move my mouse forward, and if you look real closely in the middle of the screen, you'll see a broken line as I move. Wherever I place this line, 2020 will stop my perspective right at that point. So for those of you working in smaller kitchens or maybe a bathroom and you want to stand on the other side of a wall and remove the wall from your drawing, move the camera clipping feature just inside the wall and click and it will stop drawing your perspectives right at that line hiding the wall. If I click on object clipping and move, you'll notice instead of a straight line, there's a circle. That circle actually will remove objects for your plan. So if you move the circle and it touches that base cabinet, the entire base cabinet will now disappear. It won't cut it in half. It'll actually remove the entire base cabinet. So I can draw this circle and move it out to here, and you'll notice that everything that's touching that circle or within it will not appear in your perspective. That's an awesome way for you to remove things like islands or walls from your perspective. For other great ideas, tips, and inspiration, please join us at 2020spaces.com forward slash community.